Today we'll see how to add a user to the system. By user we mean all personal profiles entered in Leon. That includes crew members, staff members, admins and so on. The user base is found under the settings icon in the section users. Right now we have a list of users already added to the system and to add a new one or a first one we click the button new user. Here we have the pop-up with the basic information needed to save a user in the system. The fields with the star are compulsory, so let's add a crew member. The code is very important if it's a crew member because we use code to assign crew to flights. It is better if the login to the system is short and easy to remember. And please do not use any special characters with the login. If you decide to fill in the field email right now, a password will be automatically generated and sent out to this crew member. So if you don't want them to have access to the system just yet, you can leave it blank for now and add it later on. The permission group is the level of access to the system. The list available in here is default in the system, but admins can add new groups and modify the existing ones. Obviously the admin group has a full access to the system, but we are adding a crew member so we'll add them to the group crew. That is pretty much enough information for the user to be saved in the system correctly. However, if we are adding a crew member, it is useful to add the passports and ratings straight away. So we can add as many passports as needed. The checkbox default will determine which one is used by default on the flight, but we're gonna use one for now just as an example. We can also add a scan of the passport and some notes if necessary. The ratings. The list of ratings is predefined in the fleet settings. You can see the instructions on how to define the list of ratings for the system in the video called fleet settings. So to assign a rating we just click and select the appropriate one. There are three color groups, the green ones are cockpit, the blue ones are cabin and the grey ones are ground and maintenance. Okay, so right now this crew member can be assigned as a captain on this aircraft type. Okay, let's click save and we can see the user is added to our list. Okay, let's move on to generating the password for this user so that they can access the system. This is a very simple process. Any admin can generate a new password, either for the first time or at any other point. So we click on a user, we go to the open full edit. That is a user's profile where we can insert additional information. More details about the user's profile can be found in the video called user panel. But now we are sticking with the basics. So in order to generate a new password, we first need to fill in the email. The work email will be the email address where all the messages from Leon are sent out, so all notifications, passwords and so on. Now we tick the box generate new password and click update. The login details and password has been now sent out automatically to the user. Make sure they check their spam folder if they don't receive it within a few minutes because those emails tend to end up in there. Then when they log into the system, they can go to their profile and change the password. And now we want to remove the user completely from the system. We can see on the list in the column status which users are active and which are not active. Right now the user that we've added is obviously active. If you don't see inactive users, this is probably the filter, you can select which ones you want to see, active, deleted which means inactive or all of them. So step one of removing the user from the system is going to their full edit profile and inactivating them so that they don't have access to the system and they are not visible in the system. We do that in the section account restrictions so we just simply untick both of the boxes 
The first one restricts access to the system and the second one hides the user throughout the system. And we click update. Now we can see the user is inactive. They won't be able to log in to Leon and you will not be able to see them in the most of the filters. However, they're not completely gone yet. So if we want to delete this user completely, we go back again. And now at the bottom, we have this button that says permanently delete and anonymize data. Make sure you are convinced you want to delete this user because once it's done, we cannot revert the changes. You would have to create a new user from scratch. Okay, so let's click. Now we just have to confirm. And we can see the user has disappeared from the list. Okay, so that's it for the basic setup of users. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or have a look at our online manual.